Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today with Rise of the Elders, Cthulhu, that's right. This is a, this isn't even a game yet, okay? Like, th th that's not a bad thing. Stay with me on this, I'll explain. Basically, this is a demo um, that has been released with the Kickstarter of this game. And it follows, you know, it's the whole Cthulhu mythos. You know, you got the crazy fish people, deep ones, and, and cultists, and madness, and all sorts of cool stuff that takes place with kind of like 40s, 50s aesthetic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you. I don't have a whole lot of Cthulhu knowledge, as it were. Um, um, it, I've always found Cthulhu, the whole Cthulhu mythos very interesting, but I've never really delved all that deep into it. So forgive me for my ignorance. I do not claim to be an expert at all. However, I do claim to play a lot of strategy games. And this is a strategy game. Um, as at least this demo currently is. It takes on kind of an interesting approach. It's something similar between Battle Brothers and XCOM. But simplified a bit more. Um, now that's not actually a bad thing. I've played two of the levels thus far, and it's actually pretty fun. Again, this is just a demo. This isn't the full version of the game. But let's go ahead and take a look at the first level, which essentially you're attempting to escape from all manner of baddies. And you start out here, right? These are our guys. The complete red circles are our enemies. Um, we can see that there's one hiding over there. There's a guy over there. There's a guy right there. Um, and you don't want to go in these triangles. They sap your strength. So we're going to click on this guy here. And we're just going to be... Uh, or, well, we'll probably just move him up one space. Well, mm, maybe not. Anyway, let's kill this thing first. That's the, the priority, our, our immediate priority. We're going to take Sir Glamington here and pop, pop, pop. Uh, we missed, but we want to move him down one space. Because one, two, three, yeah. And then we're gonna take we're gonna take Elena Matterzanov, and we're gonna put her here. We're gonna fire. We're gonna fire and we're gonna miss. Alright, well, that's fine. But we still have Edwin Blackhand, who's gonna give this nasty deep one the back of his hand. Uh, well, once he so swaps over to his sort of shotgun, that is. Uh, so we're actually gonna move up one space, and we're gonna pop him in the face, pop him in the face, and he's like I ain't dead yet, though. So we're kind of just going to move up one space over here. And we're going to take Connor O'Malley, who has the most health, and we're going to put him in front of our other allies there. Strong roar. Ooh, I've never seen that attack before. So that brought down our strength, which is the blue bar on the right. Uh, Sir Glamington himself was quite sapped from that. Yes, he is not happy about that at all. 10 of 22. But that's okay. Connor O'Malley is no bitch. And as such, wham, he's going to smack him right in the face. And then we're going to put Connor O'Malley back in the front again. We're going to swap back over to shotgun. We're going to reload. And we're going to take a pot shot right here at the creeper. Boom. Completely murdered it. Um, what's our chance to hit? Not very high. So we're going to go ahead and just reload her gun too. And finish our last two action points firing at her it does seem like there's a limitation of four action points per character again because this is early on i don't really know if there's going to be additional changes in the future we're going to put him right there but uh again they could go into they could put a lot of effort into actually really changing up how the mechanics of this game work but the basics of it are right here it's a pretty simple game and in my opinion it's actually a lot of fun uh, even though it looks very simplistic. Alright, let's... Ooh, doo, 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 doo. What we could do is we could swap to the knife and stand in front of this... Well, no, he'll probably just come to the south. Let's just reload. Take some shots at him. Bring the big bastard down! And we missed both shots. Typical. But that's okay. Again, my mama didn't raise no bitch. So let's fire, 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 fire. Okay, well that didn't go as well as I hoped. Reload! Bring him down. God, we miss this dude like every time. So he's dragging poor Connor off. This way, no time to lose. Well, apparently the creeper is talking to us. I imagine it's actually supposed to be whoever was the first one to pass that point. But it triggered on the creeper. So, nice stuff. Let's smack him in the face with our machete. 
Whap, whap. All right, yeah, he didn't like that. He didn't like that one bit. So we're gonna take, we're gonna take old Edwin here. Whap it one more time. Move up two spaces. And what's our chance to hit 55? Yeah, Sir Glamington tried to bring down this old maniac, but failed. But hopefully Connor can break free of his chains. He failed, fortunately. And Connor died because of a lack of strength. That sucks. That sucks. But it is what it is. Let's reload. This first little level here I've found, it's actually kind of hard to keep your people alive. This is the second time I've played it, and both times I've lost at least one person. To my benefit, though, it was a different person this time, so that's good, right? All right, here comes this little cultist to bring it back at us. All right. Let's open fire at him. You suck, Alina. You literally suck. What were my chances to hit? I wasn't even paying attention. 61% to hit with old Edwin here, so he should be able to bring this guy down. There we go. All right, Edwin did the job where Alina failed. So, let's just keep moving to the exit. Now all the enemies have been cleared out, so all we have to do is move out of the way. Am I not allowed to move that? Is she not, she not, you're not moving? There she goes. All right, let's get her rolling on, and let's get out of this biatch. Yes, we're just we're just straight up running at this point, or not. Apparently, I have to control him first. A little glitchy glitch, no big deal. No big deal at all. All right. So this is basically the mission, and this is how the game functions. Uh, there's there's different enemy types that can summon uh, more creepy crawly Cthulhu minions. Um, I haven't seen any other people in the game thus far, just the ones that you just saw. But from this early demo, this seems like it could be a pretty fun game. I'm already a fan of turn-based strategy games, um, especially ones in the same vein as XCOM or uh, Battle Brothers. Again, this game does have a lot in common with Battle Brothers, from what I can tell. It, and taking it into the Cthulhu mythos is... Uh, pretty interesting it's pr pr pretty interesting concept so i could definitely see myself playing more of it so here's to hoping the game actually gets kickstarted and we might actually get to see a final version of it but anyway this has been commissar bro thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you guys next time